Hi, this is a lecture taken from my online course about the Apache Spark certification, which is offered by Databricks. It handles one of the topics that you need to understand in order to get certified. So check it out. If it is possible to add new columns to a data frame, it is also possible to remove existing columns from a data frame. To do that, we will use the drop method of the data frame. Let's see how this works. Given our customer data frame with all its initial columns that we can see down here, we can decide to remove, for example, the address ID. To do that, we use drop and then specify the name of the column like this, not drop, but address ID. And this will return a new data frame. And from that data frame, you can also call columns. Now you can see that the address ID is not part of the new data frame that the drop method returns. We can also drop multiple columns at once. For example, we can decide to remove the bird country also. Like this. Then the resulting one also doesn't have the bird country. Now let's see what happens if we specify a column that is not inside the data frame. Let's say something like this. What then happens? Because this column is not part of the schema, Apache Spark will not find anything to drop, but it will remove the other existing one like address ID and bird country. There is a second overload of the drop method that takes a column object. So we can also do customer data frame dot drop and then specify a column object. Like let's say we like to remove the last name and execute that one. You can also do dot columns and now you can see that the last name is not part of the column list. However, with the drop with the overload that takes column objects, you cannot drop multiple columns at once. So something like this will not work. Let's say I also want to remove the first name. And there you go. You will have a type mismatch because there is no overload that takes two parameters. If you take a look into the Apache Spark documentation, you can also see that. Here is the definition of drop. You can either pass a column or multiple string or a single string and Apache Spark will remove those columns from the resulting data frame. If you enjoyed this video, I think you will also like the entire course. The course covers all the topics you need to pass the exam, such as understanding the basic of the Apache Spark architecture, how to manipulate columns in a data frame, how to filter columns or rows from a data frame. It also covers how to work with user defined function and Spark SQL functions. The course contains over four and a half hours of video, and you will also get a Databricks notebook that you can import directly into a Databricks workspace to easily follow all the instruction and all the code exercise. It also contains more than 40 quizzes that will help you prepare for the exam. So use the link in the description below to join the course and get certified. Thank you.